you put a knife in my back Yeah, I promise it's gonna be the fucking last one I make a hit every track, every one I make I say that I got one Putting the X on the map, you miss your X and you Whoa, 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 what is going on guys, it's Dr. Mebi here and we're back with another video. Today is a hot, like right now I have a hot topic on my hands right now. I'm serious. So let me just clarify for you guys what I mean when I say Nikki is smashing Drake. So this is what happened in the story. Meek Mill used to be Nicki Minaj's boyfriend and Drake and Meek Mill had beef and Meek Mill was gunning for Drake's career. If you guys don't know this, I'm, I'm from Toronto, Six Side represent, that's my homeland, only real people allowed in the Six Fam. So basically, this is what happened, boys. Meek Mill came after Drake's career. Drake hit him with back to back and Dr now Meek Mill lost and he took the big juicy L. And recently, Nicki Minaj left Meek Mill because Meek Mill was cheating on her uh, with another hoe. And now, Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj have beef because Remy Ma came at her with Cheater. And then Nicki Minaj strategically asked Nas to help her out and Nas, you know, got her for the copyright on the, on the beat. And now she can't do it anywhere. And then Nikki and then Remy Ma hit her with Sheether. Sheether had amazing lyrics. It was like, um, you fucked your way to the top. Talking about fucking Drake songs, Lil Wayne, uh, Drake, and another and, and, and a couple of other people. But she said, and then and on the song only, she said, I never fucked Wayne, I never fucked Drake. All my life, for fuck's sakes. So basically she's saying that she never fucked Drake. And maybe she is now. Because after she put out No Frauds and Regret in Your Tears... And changed it. She took a couple of Instagram pictures with Drake and Lil Wayne. But then she took another couple of pictures with Drake privately. And let me just show you the footage of the Drake and Nicki Minaj, you know, getting a little comfortable on stage. Here it is. So as you can see, they're getting a bit comfortable. And, you know, if you can see closely in that footage, you know, Drake was uh, kind of getting around that ass area. And, you know, and uh, so maybe they're smashing on the low. I don't know if Drake has fucked Nicki in the past. I'm pretty sure they have. But I don't know. I thought Drake was with Rihanna and then Rihanna and them split. But I think they're good friends now. And then now Nicki might be smashing Drake. If she is, I'm not going to be surprised. I'm serious. Like, I'm not even going to be surprised one bit because Nicki has a big booty. And Drake is the best in the game right now. Like, he's the GOAT right now. And, uh, you know, you mix those two together, you get a potion of uh, Drake and Nicki Minaj. And that would be the biggest L for Meek Mill if Drake took Nicki. I would laugh so hard because this is the year of the Drake, not the year of the Meek Mill. Um, and I just, yo, I feel bad for Meek Mill, bro. And uh, so, uh, also, I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna talk about the regret in your tears. So this is also coming back with the OVO sweatshop and stuff. So basically OVO is the record label of Drake. He owns it 50% with another person. And Party Next Door is another six side artist. Uh, he's an R&B artist. He's a, sing uh, he's a songwriter and he's an R&B singer. And he's a, sick, he's a sick dude, bro. I love his stuff. I love his music. I love it so much. Um, but one of Nick, Nick, Nicki Minaj's songs was Regret In Your Tears. It was Regret In Your Tears When You Taste Them. I don't know to chase him, replace him. And as soon as I heard that, um, I was like, yo, this kind of sounds like Party Next Door. And then I saw DJ Academics' video, and I saw it, and I was like, damn, yo, this, he agrees with me too. Yo, and also shout out to DJ Academics. Uh, I love him so much. So, yeah, so basically that happened, and um, she kept on saying, no, I didn't, I didn't. And then they, uh, Nick, you know, Party Next Door was liking tweets of fans saying, don't worry, we hear you. And Nicki Minaj is like, uh, why, why you guys don't believe me? Why do you never give the girl credit? And I don't know. And then party next door, like he tweeted back. He said, I, I love you. I hope we can like, I, I hope like you are the girl that I think you are. And basically she's, she, I think she's lying. I think in order to stay at the top, I don't think you have to have a songwriter, but Nicki Minaj's case, I think she does. And even if she doesn't, who cares? Regretting Your Tears was a sick song. I loved it. So yeah, that's pretty much it so far for the Nicki smashing Drake. I honestly think they are. Like, think about everything. They've been working on a song together. They did no frauds. And, you know, they're in Paris. They're, you know, <laughs> Nicki's in some sexual outfit. And I'm not saying she can't wear whatever she wants. She's good. I don't care. But, I mean, like, you know, she's trying to fuck somebody. And uh, I think Drake is 
coming, she come, he's coming through. Drake, he's coming through. He, uh, yeah, that's no, no, but seriously, I think Nikki's smashing Drake. All the signs are there. And if you don't believe me, that like, give in the comment section down below, think and tell me if you think they're smashing. And on to other news. So basically, Justin Bieber was in Australia. I think it was Melbourne. He was doing his purpose tour. He was going there to do a pop up shop. Like he was there to visit his pop up shop, and he came across some fans, some some fans that came to you know take a picture with him and talk with him and give him a hug and give him a kiss and hug him and touch him and ask for autographs and all this stuff. But I have video footage of Justin Bieber being a complete asshole to those fans. And I just want to see you guys' opinion. Let me just show you the footage first. Here it is. Look at your respect level. Look at your respect level. Come on. Look at you. Make me sick. So as you can see, he said, uh, people like you make me sick. And because she took a selfie while she was talking to him. Um, I, I you know what? I want to tell you the truth. I think... I don't think that's right for him to say that. I think that was incredibly rude. I think he should apologize to that woman, whoever he said that to. I think, I, I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how much how much success you have. You can't be that rude to a person who admires you and admires your work. That's incredibly rude. I agree with you when you say Wally Swap. I agree with you 100% Justin Bieber that that. There was some disrespect there when she was talking to you. You were talking to her like a human being, and she just took a selfie. I agree with you. But fans are going to be fans. And after, after like, a couple of years in the business, after having so many fans, like, chase you and stuff, you should be, like, have enough knowledge to know that that's the case. So I don't know why you're being a little, you know, disrespectful and being a, a complete asshole to that woman. I think you should apologize, buddy. I think if you're watching this, I think you should realize that what you did was incredibly wrong. And I'm not talking no half-wit apologize on Instagram or Instagram Live or laughing and all that stuff. I mean, literally, like, find that girl and be like, yo, call her or FaceTime her and be like, yo, I'm sorry. I apologize for saying that. And then she should apologize for doing that, taking a selfie. But still, she had, he had no right. Obviously, you're trying to promote yourself by, by going to Australia, but you're in another country, buddy. And it doesn't matter if you're in America or Canada. You, you got to show some kind of, you know level of kindness towards another human being who admires you and is asking, taking the, their time out of their day to ask you for an autograph, to take a picture with you, to even just have any type of contact with you, buddy. So I think, Justin, you should apologize. That was incredibly rude. So yeah, guys, that's the, that's the news for today. Co comment what you think about everything in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, comment what you think about it. Subscribe. Turn on that bell notification. And also, before I forget... Comedy channel is in the link in the description. I was roasting some YouTubers featuring Fuzzy Two Comedy Shorts Gamer. Go check that out. And peace, guys. I love you guys so much. Um, I love every. Fi I have 15 subscribers right now. I love you guys so much. Peace, guys. Zuzi on the track.